the meaning of his name was. We have nine different authors of the New Testament. So by uh, in Greek, Man Mansour's argument. Not the language we're discussing. Mansour's argumentation. None of the people at the time knew what the name translated as. They're all ignorant. We have all the over 50 Gnostic gospels. They're all ignorant, according to Mansour, who were close to the time. We have. The Josephus translated into other languages. They, for, for, from their ignorance as well, they've mistranslated. Yeah, name. Clement now Alexander was ignorant. Now, now, Cyril was ignorant. Now he's cutting in. No, no, two minutes. Two minutes is over. Can I finish? No, no, discussion is over. No, no, no. Can I finish? You, you can said I can round up. No, I'm rounding up. Two, three minutes. I'm rounding so up. So in one minute, can, then I, round can up. I finish? Round up in one minute. Can I finish? Of course. I said. Remember what I said? In two minutes. Take the turn. Let me finish. Finish in one minute. Let me go ahead. Let me round up. That's it. So now we have seen many. Felicia's points by Mansour. Yes. We, he's now rejecting one of the foremost scholars of Syriac language and the Peshitta. These people do not do PhDs in nothing. They go and do their research. They don't make an opinion. That's what the false assertion Mansour is making. This is the foremost scholar who has done, written numerous papers on the Peshitta. He knows about the tradition. If Mansour wants to bring me an alternative name for Yeshua, we will discuss it. Because the original point I said to him is where did the name Isa come from? So if he can provide me an alternative name from the uh, Greek, uh, from the um, Hebrew, which translates into the Arabic, then we can discuss it. But at the m moment, he's just okay. given me straw man That's and it. red herrings. Okay, so, so we've heard, heard, heard you. He, we have now no, no, seen we've heard. that I've given all my evidence. We have the Talmud, we have the Bible, we have all the Gnostic Gospels, we have uh, most of the uh, early Church Fathers, and guess we what? have the Peshitta, we have oral traditions. He's saying, based on a very few Now it's become subjects. very few. Oh, emotive subject. Look, look, now, the discussion is over, okay. the discussion is over. Yes. So there's no need to further make any points. Okay. So what you've asked for, I provided, which okay. refutes you completely. There's no point any further discussion about going back again, old Talmud and this and this. So, nice talking to you, paper boy. Okay. Maybe one day you'll be known with your real name. See, he was unable to provide me an alternative. Why, why, why are you even going back again? This is what we call no, what he's doing. Yeah. Is okay. Is okay. Attack. That's it. Fallacy okay, so I can't. Because As you can see, refuted black and white. Yeah. Is, for example, if I say the moon is made of okay. heat in the center, yeah. no one can disprove it. It doesn't mean my point is right. Okay. This is why we have a fallacy called yeah. the argument from ignorance. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, ma ba'd. Just to summarize very quickly, so I had a discussion with this particular gentleman two, three weeks ago, I think, um, about the name of Isa alayhi salam, making claims that, you know, the names coming from Yeshua and Yehoshua from the original Hebrew. So my point was, what did the mother of Christ name him? What was the original name? Do you even have a clue? Was it in Aramaic? Was it in Hebrew? Was it in Greek? So you have no evidence for this. Um, Quran uses the word Isa. Now the Arab Christians use the word Yasu, and in the Christian tradition they have the Greek writings calling Isus. The question is, what is his real name? So he came along and said, oh, the real name is actually from Yeshua and Yahushua. But what we have dismantled so far, the evidence that he provides, are from 5th century, 500 years later, or 1000 years later, or an Oxford PhD scholar who thinks, no, it, it must have been like this. That is not an evidence. Evidence should be contemporary. That is what we were discussing. Do you have any contemporary evidence, contemporaneous to the time when Christ is living, to say for surety and certainty that was the name given to Isa alayhi salam, rather than a document written by Matthew, you know, much, much later, even in the what works we have is in Greek language. That's not primary evidence. This is your bakhwas, what, what is it called in Urdu? Yeah. Nonsense. 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 Right? Sorry, I don't speak Urdu that well, right? So what this is, this is just mere guesswork and assumptions. And you want to call it certainty? You want to say Quran uses the word Isa, like where did it come from? This is a revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the one who's giving us the name. Okay? So the discussion we had last time is, what is the name of God given to Musa alayhi salam? As recorded in the Hebrew scripture, what did the Jewish authors say the name was? In the Christian tradition, what did it become? It became totally different. If the name was name of God, remember we're talking about names. The irony, the irony. We're talking about names, he's not going to reveal his name.
He wants to be known as what? You know, toilet paper. Sorry, no, what, what was did he say? <laughs> paper, boy. some kind of paper, right? Look at look at the irony. We're talking about names, but he wants to call by him a pseudonym. Other cartoon characters want to call by names. What name is more important? The name of the Son of God or the name of God? The name of God. If you ask him, what did the Greek writers call the name of God? Which was supposed to be the name given to Musa alayhi salam. They call him Ego Amy. Does it sound like Yahya Yashar Yahya? Does it sound like Yahya? It doesn't. So what happened? The Greek writers have been butchering, transforming, they've been mutilating, whatever, or even translating something totally different. So this is precisely the problem that we see with Christian evangelicals. They are not consistent. If you ask them, oh, before Abraham was I am, Christ is claiming to the name of God, I am. What was the name I am coming from? That's in English, right? What is the name in Greek? It says Ego Amy. Prin Abraham Geneste Ego Amy. The name Abraham is retained as Abraham. That's what you expect, proper names. If my name is Mansoor and he goes and speaks to his Chinese friend, is he going to say, Cha 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 Cha, my name? Or I'm a Cha 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 Cha. Would you know who, who he's talking about? My name is Mansoor. Even in Chinese, you can approximate my name to Mansoor. You know, whatever, however they pronounce it, right? So that's the problem with looking at claims making being made by Christian evangelicals here or in the internet or in social media. This is the level of intellectual bankruptcy, I would say. Bankruptcy. Because if you have nothing certain and you use this as a standard and then you say, no, the Quran is not right in here, you haven't got any legs to stand up on yourself. You haven't got any certainty. Is the name Ego Amy that was given to Musa Islam and Musa Islam said, oh, who shall I call? Who shall I tell has sent me? And God spoke to him in Hebrew saying, Ego Amy. Would they even know what it is? So that's the level of dishonesty we're dealing with. Dishonesty and deception and trickery. So yes, when we are discussing with Christians, no wonder we don't waste time with these people. Do you know why I said 15 minutes today? It's precisely, look, he went into a tangent. Oh, I'm going to say Islamic tradition and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa going to Ibn Ishaq, going to this. This is exactly what we see in Speaker's Corner. Instead of dealing with the evidence at hand, where is your evidence? From the primary sources, the name of Isa alayhi salam is Yeshua. You have none. You have some scholars think, well, I think it's this. And then when you give the same reference, which says, let me re repeat to you again so that we close this discussion once and for all. The same reference, which he used in evidence, it says, as a way of conclusion, it is worth summarizing the salient features of the debate about the origins of the Quranic form of Jesus' name. It is not certain that Jesus' original name was Eshua. It is not certain. Precisely my point. That's why I don't go about saying, I know what his name was. I believe Allah Islam used the name Isa Islam. I just go by that. Whether this is an Arabized form that the Arabs used to and they were familiar with Isa alayhi salam as a prophet by that name, I don't have a problem with that. But when they come along and say that is his original name, it's certain, when his own reference refutes him, may Allah guide us all. So, what can I say? We need to just, as a way of um, analyzing a proof text coming from these people, who, 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 are, who are claiming something against our tradition, all you need to do is what? Go to their proof text. Remember what happened used to be here? There was an American guy used to shout a lot, talking about Quranic manuscripts and Petra and Qibla. Jesus. Yeah? We all, we all, need, all we needed to do is to go back to his proof text and refute him because he doesn't say what it says. This is exactly the level these people, what we're dealing with. So, wise up, people. Any claims? Just verify yourself and you will see the answer is half there already. Okay? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh to my Muslim brothers and sisters. That's my one. This way, this way. I'll take it off. I'll take it off. This way.